Tom in New York, pronouns are he him, would like to share uh, what made him believe in God and the origin of the universe. So, Tom, you are on with Eve and Matt. Yeah, sure thing. Hey, guys, how's everything going? I'm actually, um, Matt, I, I actually used to listen to your show way back in the day. I mean, I'm talking like 10 plus years um, when I was, I think, in college. And um, I was really I'm glad you didn't say grade school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, that, that's probably what I've I literally about, been. <laughs> I've literally been at events because I've been hosting shows for 19 years. I've literally been at events where, you know, we're all standing around at a bar drinking and some 21 year old will just say something like, man, I've been listening to you for my whole life. And I was like, why you fuckers want to make me feel so old? But thanks, Tom. Uh, yeah, no worries at all. And um, I actually had completely, um, I, I guess it, has, it had kind of, uh, apologetics uh, just in general had kind of fallen off the radar for me for a long time. And it's only just very recently because of uh, one of Eve's posts that I actually, you know, am back and I actually didn't realize that you were still doing what you do. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, Eve, great, great um, efforts on your marketing there for uh, <laughs> uh, promoting the show. Yay. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, just, yeah, just a little bit uh, about me. I grew up in the church. I uh, grew up, uh, I guess, Pentecostal. Uh, and then maybe when I was uh, junior year of college, I was really kind of thinking through what faith meant to me. Um, and I wanted, I wanted for this religion aspect of my life to be my own thing rather than something that I would uh, adopt as just uh, a byproduct of my family or my culture or uh, the the community I was in. Um, and so I really kind of dug uh, deep uh, into why I believed uh, what I believed. Um, and then after kind of solidifying uh, just at least cerebrally, like what faith meant, I also had a chance to kind of dig into uh, a little bit of the supernatural. Uh, I had the opportunity to attend uh, a church on the West Coast uh, called Bethel Church. You may or may not have heard of uh, that church. Um, and that was home uh, for me for maybe four years. And I think I've been able to appreciate a good balance of the faith between, you know, a lot of what you hear about in terms of healings and miracles and kind of like getting an understanding of that and then also thinking through this logically. And so I think... For me, ultimately, um, why I've come to believe in God and kind of have that foundation uh, is really comes down to, oh, at least one part of it, is a little bit of the cosmos, uh, cosmological argument, right? Is like even beyond looking at specifically, oh, the Christian religion or the Bible, et cetera, uh, I like to look at it more, a little more holistically and say, you know what? The very fact that we or any of us or any physical element exists uh, kind of makes me think that there was uh, some consciousness um, at some point in time that uh, caused the universe to come into being. Uh, I guess I'm not here to necessarily debate you on this, but kind of just to share my perspective on why I feel convinced um, that there is an all-powerful or at least a first cause that we attribute to as god i okay i th this took a, a slightly different turn because you were talking about um how you had some interaction with or confirmation of uh spiritual uh, the spiritual and then you went to you're convinced because of the kalam cosmological argument and so for those who aren't aware, the Kalam cosmological argument is everything that begins to exist has a cause for its existence. The universe began to exist. Therefore, the universe has a cause for its existence. And that's the end. And then everything else is something in addition to that. So wh while I'd love to dig in on what you meant by the supernatural or how you confirmed anything supernatural as I'm not aware of anyone ever being able to confirm anything supernatural in the entire history of the universe. All right. What about the Kalam makes you think that there's a, a God, let alone a personal being that cares and interacts. That's not what the Kalam says. 
or even an all power. Sure, one. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and that makes sense. Uh, from my perspective, when I look at a first cause, uh, or at least within the framework of the Kalam argument, right, is is that we it would necessitate that this cause um, is when I say all powerful, I mean it in the sense that it had to have the ability uh, or capacity to be able to create or at least spark what we know to be the Big Bang um, that brought the universe into being, right? So I say okay, all so powerful in that sense, not necessarily in the personal relationship sense. Let's just throw out all powerful because we don't need it. Under your definition, sure. all you're saying is that whatever started the universe had to be capable of starting the universe. Right. Correct. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay. And then also in what, terms of... Uh, how do we know... I, oh, go ahead. Uh, I, how do we know what's capable of starting the universe? And how do we know that whatever is capable of starting the universe is necessarily a sentient being with a purpose? Sure. And I think this is where, so I think the fact that it took place at a certain point in time, uh, to me, shows uh, some a level of intentionality, right? Because if at some point the universe came into being at a certain time, uh, so to speak, um, then it, at least in my mind, it's it goes to show, uh, or at least it, I feel like it's necessary that this cause or whatever it was, right, it needed to have that decision made in order. Why? Why couldn't it have uh, been an to, accident? To cause that. I should have shut up because even I literally said why at the exact same time. So, <laughs> yeah. Why? Why couldn't it have been an accident? The accident isn't a cause. The accident simply describes the cause so when you say why can't it be an accident that's actually not a cause that's just describing how it came about like whether it was on purpose or accident you know so but you just said I, it was I don't intentional think that really you, why you does it have to be intentional the timing you said that the timing suggests yeah. it was intentional and we are both saying what why is it that the timing suggests it was intentional how did you rule out the possibility of at whatever time Big Bang cosmology begins, which we can't fully explore. How did you rule out that this wasn't just a uh, a non uh, a non intentional result of a multiverse? Because of the fact that we came into existence at a, existence at a certain point in time. Now, if the universe no 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 had no, 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 no. Existed, Tom that's Tom that's not Tom. an answer. Yeah, would would so let's imagine a universe that is the result of a multiversal unintentional beginning and a universe that is the result of an intentional beginning. Don't both of those come mm -hmm. into being at a certain time? Now, if you're going to posit the idea of an unintentional cause for the universe, explain to me what that is. No, no, I asked a specific question. Yeah. I'm comparing, I'm comparing two things, a universe that is the result of an unintentional cause and your universe proposal that it's the result of an intentional cause. And you said that you could tell it was the result of an intentional cause because we came into existence at a specific time. And all I asked is, mm -hmm. under both of those models, doesn't the universe come into existence at a specific time? Now, you're making like in this framework that you're putting it's together literally a, this is it a is, yes or no uh, it is a literally a yes no. or no question and it exposes the flaw in your reasoning which is why you're not answering it even if you're not, not aware of that because no, no, the no, fact no, of not, the matter the not, fact of the matter the fact of the matter is any poten any universe that comes into being comes into being at some time correct And a universe that comes into being through intentional design comes in at a certain time, and a universe that comes into being without intentional design comes into being at a certain time, right? 
That I cannot give you that. And the reason oh my God, is because Tom, this is so absolutely dishonest. You already said yes. Yeah. Every no, universe that no, no, comes wait, wait, wait. Shut, shut up. Wait, Every wait. universe that comes into being comes into being at a time. The 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 exactly. or origin right. of the universe at T zero is a fact, irrespective of the cause. That's the point I'm trying to get to. You are so eager to assert that because of the timing, it must have been intentional, which is fallacious by your own admission. But when we get that one extra step to compare your model to a competing model, all of a sudden it breaks down. Every universe that begins to exist, begins to exist at some time. What is it about the time that ours began that leads you to the conclusion it's intentional as opposed to some other time that it might have began not being intentional? And the reason is because you posit this model, correct? So, for example, I'm going to mute you. He didn't. At no point does us positing any model have anything to do with the answer to this. I'm going to make this as simple as possible because people are mocking you in chat, and I'd rather not have that happen. Any potential, any proposed universe that comes into existence, whether it comes into existence by a god starting it at time zero, or by a multiverse starting it at time zero, comes into existence at time zero. You are saying that because of the time that the universe began, that signals intention. And we are asking you, how can it possibly signal intention when every possible universe that comes into being would start at time zero? What is it about the time that leads you to conclude that it must be intentional as opposed to unintentional? That's the question. Of course, you can just sit there quiet. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I heard a beep, so I thought I was uh, offline. I think for me, the reason is because, sure, the universe comes into being at T equals zero, right? I think the very fact that there is a T equals a zero shows that there is intentionality. And so uh, I'm framing this just from what we can understand in our own day-to-day -day lives, right? Like, let's how say does that show intentionality? A guitar. But how does because that show intentionality? Say, sure, sure. So let me explain. So let's say I want to build a musical instrument, take a guitar, right? Uh, at one point in time, the guitar did not exist, right? At another point in time, the guitar uh, began to exist. And so just from our own experience on a day-to-day -day basis, what, how we've come to understand things that are in existence, um, it's, I think it's reasonable for us to conclude that if something has now come into existence, um, that there must be, uh, and at a certain point in time, that there must be some intentionally uh, intentionality no. behind it. Now, no, 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 no. First of all, guitars don't come into existence. The matter for the guitar already yeah. exists. It's the result in a change of patterns. But let's pick something that, like a fire. If I intentionally start a fire, or a fire happens through natural processes, don't they both start at some time? Uh, that is correct. Now, if... And one can be intentional and one in unintentional. <laughs> is the time that the fire starts in any way an indicator as to whether or not that fire was intentionally set or whether or not it occurred naturally? I think how you're trying to compare the fire with the creation okay. of the you're using your comparison is, you're this the is one insanely that just insanely dishonest this sure. is insanely sure, sure. fucking dishonest tom is the time that the fire starts an indicator of whether the, mm -hmm. the fire was set intentionally or happened naturally yes or no the answer is fucking no Look. and you know it but let's say okay let's say the answer is no and you stuff. know it the answer is no, and you know it, correct? Not necessarily. The and, answer and is me, no, oh, and why. you fucking know it. How does the, let's say there's two fires, and they both started at 4.52 sure. p.m. 
Which one was set mm -hmm. intentionally? It, it doesn't, it could be either. Correct, which is what I've asked you four fucking times now, Tom. The time on its own is not sufficient to determine if the fire was set intentionally or naturally, correct? That is correct, but there's a difference. Correct. Now, missing. no, 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 there's not. I asked you this repeatedly and did everything in my power to give you the easiest way to stop looking stupid about this. The time that something happens is not on its own an indicator of how it happened, is it? But there's a difference because when is creation, it? when the universe... Is it, you when, when the universe, oh God, Tom, you are so fucking dishonest. The time no, 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 that I, something I, begins, the time that something begins is not on its own sufficient to determine the cause, is it? But I really don't think that's a fair is comparison. It? Is it? Is it like, you do? Like, oh my God, dissemble one more time and I will fucking hang up on you. The time that something begins on its own is not sufficient to determine what the cause was. Is it? The, when the universe came in. Goodbye. Into Goodbye. You yeah, absolutely dishonest liar. You can say that there are things about the origin of the universe that might suggest it was intentional but not the fact that it began at a certain time. This is so simple and obvious. And I did it with an example of the fire, but you wanted to go with the guitar. Because why? Guitars don't occur naturally, do they? Everything we see that comes into being is the result of intention. No, it's not. And I demonstrated that. Fire isn't the result of conscious agency in many cases. I hung up on you already. So we can move on. But the fact of the matter is, the time that something happens is not in any way an indicator of how or why it happened. You need additional information to do that. And if you had any additional information, you could present it. But you were so desperate. Well, no, the universe is different. The universal origin is different. That's called special pleading. It's a fallacy. Everything about your view, Tom, is fallacious, and you can't argue honestly about it. It is so frustrating to be sitting here saying, hey, I'd love to have a good conversation with you, but it's not possible because you won't be honest. I don't, it's so, this kills me. That's infuriating. We, we even could have... We could have kept the conversation going. He, if he's showing honesty, we okay, then move on to another point. Like, surely you've got some other reasons. But the inability to to be honest when a question is presented to you, it's yes or no, and obviously he knows the answer, and you're refusing to answer it because you have to cling to this dogma. I mean, they're doing our work for us when apologists think... cling to stuff like this. As soon as he said that he dabbled in apologetics, and then I was like, well, this is going to be... An interesting I can't call. take him seriously. Here, here's the thing. Right. One of the reasons pe people are like, why you get so why you get so angry, Matt? Why you get so upset? I'll tell you why. Because either Tom is confused, dishonest, or incredibly dishonest. Because Tom is a terrible representative of sound or even close to reasonable theistic judgment and justification. Tom can't even answer simple, basic questions about causality, setting aside the origin of the universe, honestly. Right. Because somewhere in his noggin, he knows that it's going to expose the flaw in his thinking. Now, yep. is he afraid of it because he's a liar who's trying to mock Christians? Is he, is he an atheist? Because this has happened in the 19 years or so I've done this. Atheists will call into the show and pretend to be a theist and make the dumbest arguments in order to make theists look stupid. Well, I'm sorry, uh, they don't need any help from you guys to do this. <laughs> there are plenty of sincere believers who are very confused and there are other sincere believers who I guarantee you, I guarantee you if Than had called in with 
an argument from the Kalam cosmological argument, and I and and I would have said, hey, look, I just had a conversation with this theist who said that because the universe started at T zero, that on its own is sufficient to conclude that it was an intentional process by an agent. I, I would bet every dollar in my pocket that Than would say, that's ridiculous. Why would anybody think that the mere time of this? And if I said, right. I even went to a fire started, it was either intentional or not. It started at 452. Does that time tell you whether you'd be like, of course not. And how is that different from the universe? It's not. It's not the way causality works. You don't get to make right. a new special type of causality for the origin of the universe. It's absolutely bizarre. I'm not going to let you make theists look so stupid. I want, I want people to actually, you know, I don't need a cartoon. I don't need somebody, sure. you know, calling in to pretend. All right. Yeah. Let's try this yep. again. Just Answer yes or no questions, you guys, then we can keep the conversation going. Hello, I'm Jimmy Snow, Pokemon master and executive producer on the line. Would you like to support a specific show on the line or the line in general? There are special tiers on our Patreon and in our channel memberships. You can do just that. By the way, you could consider leaving a super thanks down below. You could also like, subscribe and leave a regular comment. All of these are great. Now, I'm going to get back to crushing loneliness. But while I do that, why don't you check out one of these?